Hello and welcome to Charnock Games and today I am going to be doing a Football Manager series AFC Wimbledon and I'm going to be getting them from League One I'm going to try and get them up to the Premier League and yes I know I've got my webcam down below here which is a new feature for this channel webcam I'm just going to see what it how it goes and everything so yeah we're going to get straight into this because I'm sure you're all want, wanting to crack on with this video, so let's get into it. So let's have a look. So Games takes charge at AFC Wimbledon. So that's me over here, that beautiful face person. And we're going to look over here. Welcome to AFC Wimbledon. Let's attend our meetings. I don't normally, but I do it for this. Hi Charnock, welcome to the Dons. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to welcome you to the club before handing over to your assistant manager, who's going to discuss staff responsibilities with you. I also want to assure that you have the full backing of the board and we would, wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel you were the right person to propel the club forward. So, yeah, that's great. AFC Wimbledon have been around for a while and I think it's good for you to familiar, familiar yeah. <laughs> yourself with the history of the club. I can send an overview of the club's history in to the inbox if you like. Now, yeah, we will, but <laughs> just thinking about it because they haven't been formed for that long because they're they're a fan based club because of the capture of Wimbledon. Anyway, that's just the gen the um basic thing they always have. As was mentioned in your welcome message, the club has no philosophies to be judged on, judged on yet. That's fine. Tradition will have a press conference. Thank you for answering my question. Now I'm going to hand you over to system manager. Hi Charnock, I'm Neil Cox, your assistant manager. I've got some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day running of the team. Firstly, before we talk about the team policies, do you want to arrange an inter-squad friendly for tomorrow, yes. Okay, I've set up an intro. Yes, please, it'd be great to see a summary of my current second opinions. That took me to arrange a meeting with the rest of your staff. Yes, I think that'd be great. Nope, I'm good, thank you. And yep, there we go, that concludes the meeting. Okay, so we've got injuries here, we've got Frankham and Meads, but that's fine. We're going to get injuries at the start of the season, no matter what. Responsibilities, yeah, of course. Uh, there's a background of AFC Wimbledon. There you go, they're formed 2002. Um, they won one league, oh, they won two leagues. No, three leagues, sorry. Yeah, they actually won this. When did they win this? 2009, 2005, and they won this. 2004. So two years after they were formed, they won a league, which is pretty good. Uh, what could you just do more than just? Yeah, we might need to get a goalkeeper in. So let's go have a look at our tactics in this team. So skip tactics creator. Now, obviously, it varies with what team you play. Uh, but this is the sort of formation I like playing. So, hey, they said we only had one goalkeeper, and Joe McDonnell, he can play goalkeeper. He's at our club, so I don't see. Okay, but we'll, we'll put Shay in though, because he's a better keeper. Um, let's just put. Players in the best up here. Robertson, Fuller. Okay, Meads is injured, but we'll we'll figure something out. Reeves, Parrot, Wingers, Polian. I think we're gonna put Fitzpatrick in. Strikers, we can put. Tom Elliott, because I know a few of these players. And let's put Lyle Taylor up, and the rest we'll just sort of fill in like this. Because the rest 
doesn't really matter for now. We don't really know the team, so we're just going to do all this. Uh, Bowman, Beer, Suarez, Mattel, Barksham, and oh, come on. <laughs> Okay, so that that's our basic lineup for the team. <laughs> Look at the tactical familiar and um, familiarity. Anyway, so I can't speak at the moment. Uh, their mentality is not something they used to. Okay, uh, closing down marking them. Okay, so I think we're gonna go control. Fluid. See, that's gone down a bit more. That's why I wanted to start with a slightly different the, the tactic I want to use pre-season because just doing the basic tactics I like to use. You know this tactic might not suit the team at all, but we're we're gonna we're gonna find out when with the infra squad friendly. Now we want to look at wing backs. We want to look at a left wing back. Let's have a look because we need more width in that area, obviously. So. Quick search. Should go hot prospect. Not at the moment. I think we need to just look for someone who fill in for that position at the moment. So left wing back. Um, anything we're really looking for? Maybe crossing. Technique decisions definitely. We need someone good and maybe acceleration. I think we could get. So there are key things. We've got 175k. And let's have a look at this dude here, Bell. Now, how much money have we got? 175k in minus wage bullets, so we might have to make a slight adjustment here. Yeah. So 77,000, so let's have a look at this dude here. Uh, yeah, so that's the problem. Um, let's have a look at him. He's, he's got good, quite good stats. We go on to start editing. I think they're pretty solid stats. And just someone just as a backup if we can't play our main one. So let's suggest these terms. <sighs> Two much let's go in for 70k and no, not 75 70 100 they're not budging really that much 95 no typical okay how about Haynes dude he's 185k Who's a, a bell? He's available on loan. But he has a, he he played quite a bit for Fleetwood. Oh God. Um. Let's not have a look at the ability because he's a Vina. Twenty-four years old, three hundred and fifty k. Uh, do do do. Callum Hall, 19 years old. Let's have a look at stats. Not really perfect. Uh, who's he? Sean Whelan. Used to be at Preston. I think we, I think we need a bit of view, you know. So I think we're gonna we're gonna approach the signing. So, football manager cup. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's talk to the team. Um, no, nah, I think I think we'll say finish top half. That's that's perfect. You just want to get the right. You don't want to be too um, have too big expectations, but not have too low expectations because they're very picky on that always. Uh, Marshall available. He's a right winger. Okay. 
around 150k though is too much for what we we can get um so you know what i think we should go more into loans at the moment if anything because we just need we need someone that's good for our team so let's go and have a look in there and the 23 squad we're going to do this for most teams uh we want a left wing back He's on loan at players, of course he is. Bramwell. Okay, he's a wing back. Oh, it's a right, right wing back. Okay. He wouldn't have been any use anyway. Wing back, wing back, any wing back, any wing back. No. We'll have a look at this. Um, have a look at someone like Crystal Palace and the 23 squad because we see if I've got wing backs anywhere. Nope, they don't have any at the moment. I'll have a look more in depth. You know, I'll have a look more in depth when I'm not on when I'm not recording, so then you don't have to go through me looking for players. But we just want to go in for the friendly, and I think that would be the, it for the video. I just wanted you to see our team play and just have a nice, interesting video. Do you feel that the ambitions of your club for the club were matched by the chairman? Absolutely. I have no doubt that the chairman has the club's best interests at heart, and the fans are fortunate to have such an ambitious, ambitious mind running things. And when you take this job... Yeah, new managers often bring in their own people for their worthy of being here. In that case, you likely to. Um, yeah, we don't know. We don't know how much we're going to be doing. As you um, I'm confident in my managerial skills. Thanks for the hands-on approach. I want every player to know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, financial fair play, yeah, I know all about that. Match preview, here we go. It's going to be the match. This is the team we're going to go out with. I'm, oh, yeah, who's he going to be swapped with? Mm, I think we might have to put the defenders back for now. Just so we get someone who can go in for now. Because we don't want to risk anything. Oh, <laughs> I think that's what the team will go out with. I I, I think we're definitely going to win this. At least get a goal or two. But hopefully it doesn't go too wrong. Um. Yeah. Loading up. He do he He's instruct our players, yeah. Let's get on his week foot. Yeah. I I think that's the best thing to do. It encourages them a bit more to do well in this match. And I believe we are in the blue because we're home. So let's go, let's get on with this guys. Polian. Gets it onto Reeves, Elliot. Polian, yes, 1 0. I know it's against the under 23s, but it's good to always get off to a good start on these sort of things because. As I always say, if you lose your under 23s, it's not normally a good sign. It's taking a while to load. Okay. Let's encourage the team. They're doing well. Let's encourage them to push on here. You can see in the corner a bit of a spill there. Don't know whether that's a corner or not. 
it is a corner and Pat's going to take it, gets it in near the middle, Fitzpatrick's chasing it, he's got him, he's in possession, Parrot. That was, was that a shot or an attempted cross? Because it probably would have been better as a shot, but, <laughs> okay. Polian finds Taylor, Elliot, Polian, or oh, Oakley. No, no, they're going to counter, they're going to counter. Egan, Oakley, Egan, no, I'm going to try pronouncing his name, Bella Keeley, Fuller gets a tackle, Reeves, look, look, get number nine, get number nine, Taylor, Elliot, Reeves, Polian, Elliot, Taylor, 2-0, 17 minutes, that's good, that's very good. Yay! <laughs> so, exactly what I want really, just just a nice solid win, just to show our dominance here. Power, let's corner in Elliot, yes! Yes, Tom Elliot! That's what I like to see. Oh, good hit by Elliot. Look, they had two players on the line. They couldn't, and the goalkeeper, and they couldn't, they couldn't, they couldn't clear it. It's, wow. I'm glad I'm not the under-23s manager at this point. Uh, have most of ball possession. Our poor passing. And look, look down there. I know like, it looks a bit weird from your perspective, but look at the possession. No, it won't overcomplicate things. I hate it when they say that. I'm very happy with what's going on. Keep it up, lads. Uh, Robertson, Kelly. Fuller. Oh, Oakley. Getting on the attack here. The under-23s. Niame. Oakley. Oh, they got one. They got one. As you can just tell the team to concentrate. We don't want to slip anymore. We don't want to give them a bigger advantage here. It's going to let us see the goal. Is it going to just freeze like it normally does? Oh, here we go. There's the goal. Well, that was a good shot as well, unfortunately, for our opposition. <laughs> So what do you think about AFC Wimbledon, the way they've built themselves up in recent years? Well, I'd say in the last 10, 15 years, they've really built themselves up. And I, I hope that one day they can get into the Premier League earlier for one. But we, we, might, we might get them to Premier League glory, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Even though my football manager skills aren't amazing. Oh, nice turn from Elliot there. He went through his man. <laughs> like, literally through the man. <laughs> Let's make a sub. Yeah, so I, I just forgot about substitutions. <laughs> it's not good when the manager forgets about substitutions. <laughs> yeah, let's just take those two off. This game's not like, massively important, so... If, it, if the scoreline stays like this, I'm happy. I think it's a nice. But if they score another one, it's not very good for our defence. But the fact that this new formation, and they're doing quite well with it, which is good. Wingate. Oh, they're on the ball. They're going to score. Oh, Charles, though. Oh, he clears it straight to Bird. What a name, Bird. Hartigan, Williams, Bowers, Philip, Shea with save. <laughs> okay, it's getting near the 70th minute, so we don't have too long left.
Okay, we cleared it. Here's William's Boas. Uh, and uh, I can't even pronounce the name. Gallagher. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, was it a save or did it hit the post? It was a save. Or it deflected, I don't know. Cleared. Do you guys want me to change it so it's the actual animations on here? Just let me know. I just prefer it like this. Fila, Suarez, Power, Fitzpatrick, over the top to Taylor. Come on, Taylor. Make it five. Come on, Barnet. Five one. What a hit. I'm pretty I'm impressed by the team so far. I know it's against the under 23s, but still. I'm happy with that. Taylor gets Barnet. 1 0. Also, let me know if you want to see the pre season or do you want me to skip the pre season? Because some people aren't really interested in that sort of stuff. So, it's Marchant, Philip. Yay, 5 1. I I'm happy with that result. Shame we didn't get the clean sheet, but I, th I think that's good. I think that's a good start. So, yeah, I think we'll end the video there. I know it's. Not the longest of videos, but I think we're gonna ha we're gonna have the football manager cup. I know it's not an actual competition, but you know it might it'll just be a bit of fun to play against Watford. So I'll see I'll see you then, and thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.